Good evening. Uh, tonight, I'm going to address a very common issue that people have with the new artist year responsive themes. So here we are at my little demo site that I do a lot of my code hacking on. And it looks good at full size. Let me minimize some of my background stuff. Uh, but as it starts to become responsive, we see that the header completely drops. And to my knowledge, there's no way to adjust this in Artist Year. It's just something that always happens, which is obviously extremely annoying because the header is one of the most important parts of your website. Fortunately, it's a very easy CSS fix. Um, and as a little asterisk, uh, with my CSS training that I'm about to launch, you'll be able to do this sort of stuff without even having to think about it. Um, but for the time being, we are going to think about it. <laughs> and uh, what I'm going to do real quick is inspect the code. And here we are. I have it in a separate window since this one's about to get narrow. So we see that the uh, art object is what we're looking at here. Let me make this a little smaller. So the art object is where the header is, but uh, I believe my face is also getting dropped. Yep. So it looks like art shapes is what's getting dropped. Now, um, when I make it responsive, See how in my uh, window over here in the bottom left, how it's changing the relevant styles? And the way that responsive design works is that there's this whole JavaScript file uh, that basically appends CSS classes to different things at different sizes uh, a lot of the time. So what's happening is as we make it smaller, the art shapes uh, div is getting its own special class that's making it not display. So uh, here we have it as its responsive thing and somewhere there's going to be some sort of uh, display none that's making all of these not display. And let's see what we got. Okay. So the art shapes isn't getting a display none, but the objects within it are getting a display none. So see how when I go to art shapes, we don't really see anything that affects the display. But if I click on an object, there's this display none. However, when I make it larger, there's no display none. And what display none does is it does exactly what it sounds like. <laughs> it makes the object not display. And to give you an idea, I can uncheck that and we see how it displays. Um, now, if I resize it, let's see what happens. So we see that in a responsive theme, having two images in the header doesn't really work for my design. Uh, so for me to get this to work, I would need to be doing some styling so that when it was responsive, my image wouldn't just be huge like that. We can do certain things like um, adjusting the width and stuff. Um, let's see where this one is. I want to try something real quick. So that doesn't really work because that just cuts it off. Um, so if you are going to be doing this fix, it's going to need to work with your header image. If you have a, an image like mine that spans across the whole header, you're going to need to do some tweaking to your CSS to get it to work. But anyway, this is about a quick fix. So here's what we're going to do. Go into your appearance editor. And by default, we're on our style.css file. We actually want to go to our responsive file. So we go down here to style.responsive.css. These are all the styles for responsive design. And I believe this one was on uh, line 170. Give me just a sec while I find out. Looks like it was on line 284 for me. Uh, but the thing you're going to search for is art shapes. So if we go back here, we hit control F as in Frank and type in art dash shapes. Uh, we're taken to this first one. This one has a uh, display none, but this is actually styling a text block within there. So if you have actual text, then you'll want to use this. Uh, for me, it's just an image. So I'm trying to find the one for the actual image, which I believe is this. If I want to comment out CSS, I can uh, just do a slash and then a star. And then to end the comment, I can do a star and a slash. And that'll make that code not active without me deleting it. So let's see what happens now. Cool. 
So as you can see, my header does not disappear, which is what we want. So I hope this helps you. As I mentioned, it was a quick fix, but depending on your website, there might be a bit more styling involved for it to still look good as it becomes responsive. And if you want to find out more about my CSS training, you can go to zackswinehart.com forward slash CSS dash training. Uh, so that concludes the tutorial, and I'll talk to you soon.